Hello, how's it going? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2023 and another part of the Williams Road to Glory career mode. Today we have got the British Grand Prix. Um, if we have a little look at the rounds, well, we are about halfway through uh, this fourth season, probably our final season at, uh, at Williams at, at least. Um, you know, I haven't really thought too far ahead of whether we're going to do a season five full stop but uh yeah hopefully you guys are good and are still enjoying the series make sure you do hit the thumbs up button down below if you are enjoying we do have a new um development window so we are gonna develop some parts we we are pretty short on cash um in terms of the cost cap so we are going to focus uh this one on um two massive upgrades so 70 days let's have a little look when can we see all of this does it tell you when that is um i guess it gives a rough estimate doesn't it of how many days that is away so 70 days so i'm guessing it's the first of september pretty much maybe after singapore that's when you get your next atr window um, we're not bothering with any research whatsoever so let's have a little look at, at how much these things are going to cost so we've got our underfloor we've got some big expertise gains in in underfloor technology and it will provide a very big upgrade to us so i'm thinking i'm thinking we do three more big upgrades during this window we've already got a new chassis coming in a new suspension so i'm thinking a new front wing new rear wing and a new underfloor um to be made during this period so that means we're going to give 1.5 hours of cfd over and we're going to give 20 hours of wind tunnel time as well so that's what we're going to do we're going to do three of them in this atr period the rest of the time is going to be spent on essentially developing um well basically holding on to some money and is what i would suggest is going to happen that's looking like some decent gains That's what we want, isn't it? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah, that will increase our acceleration a little bit, which is good. Okay, happy with that. Uh, so we are going to put three engineers on. It's just going to be a normal one. We're not going to rush it. There's no need to to rush it and add cost um so just gonna go for a normal and then when the new atr period uh comes up we will we'll sort that out as well so let's uh, design a, a new what could be better let's have a look it's still really our acceleration but that's um something that can't really be helped yeah i think front wing is where we want it sooner rather than later okay and then uh, we'll push on to the next one we'll take that off and we want a bigger focus on the high speed corners if we can yeah this looks good yeah it looks fine it just won't quite help in all the ways that we need but that's okay so we'll get that normally through as well that's pretty much perfect yeah i mean what we want to look at is the uh cost cap remaining you can see nine million so we have to be a little bit careful um we've got basically nine million to spend on 
car parts and and all of that good stuff so we do need to be a little bit careful now and perhaps not um perhaps not focus too much on emergency parts and that sort of thing because we've got a good lead in the championship now that's why we front loaded a lot of our development this year we rushed through a lot of it to get a bit of a lead now the job is to hold on to it and we know we might not uh win every race from now obviously max verstappen won the last grand prix in um in austria but we can we can go out there and still win races and that's uh what we're looking at there now saffron wing five when did that complete i'm not sure when that completed let's manufacture that then So we can get those in normally. That's fine. Cool. Everything else is looking fine. I'm just sort of keeping an eye on it all. Could we do with a couple of them? Yeah, a couple of them. Just to tide us over because we're not really going to be making too many more suspensions this year. All right, let's head to the British Grand Prix weekend then and have a good time. Welcome and come on in to the home of British motor racing. We're here in legendary Silverstone where the very first Formula One World Championship Grand Prix was held back in 1950. It's a place where every tuft of grass breathes motorsport and the crowd are already crackling with excitement. Silverstone demands a lot of power from cars with numerous twists and historic turns. Downforce is going to be a key factor to manage if teams want to succeed here. In the last round, Max Verstappen flew to victory, the Dutchman proving that he can be absolutely unstoppable when he's in such fine form. Let's get this underway. Okay, right. Uh, well, I'll get on with practice and all of that, and I'll see you guys for Q1. Here we go, then. Let's uh, send out the boys for their first flying laps of the weekend and see how they get on. Um, Esteban Ocon quickest in practice three, Norris not even in the top ten, so it could go either way this session. Um, Norris coming up to the line, he goes quickest with a 1.26.0, Ocon second two tenths of a second off the pace. Obviously Red Bull are the ones to keep an eye on here. And we'll send them out on scrubs to try and get a better time in. This time we're going to send round Ocon following Norris. See if that makes any difference. Let's watch them through Maggots and Beckett's Verstappen, by the way. Split our two drivers. Oh, was quickest in that middle sector. No improvement for Ocon there. But now coming into the final twisty turny section. Norris up to the line. No improvement for him. Ocon up to the line. No improvement for him either. So P1 and P3 at the moment. And that's kind of where we've been all season. We're in a, a massive battle with Red Bull. And we know that they are very very strong and will be tough to beat over the the course of the season interesting that um red bull and well lots of people have have decided not to come out for a second run good to see good to see that some of the tactics of the ai are changing and uh, good to see daniel ricardo through he makes it through to q2 joe guan Yu is out though who's having a, a very very strong season he's out in q1 big shock there alex albon also drops out in q1 along with the two alpha Tauris and tail porsche okay into q2 we go then 
and let's just send them straight out. Green light. Try and get that good lap time in before anybody else even hits the circuit. Here they come up to the line, 26.3 and a 26.4. Should be enough, really. Um, yeah, I don't think they'll be... I don't think there'll be any um, anyone other than Red Bull going quicker than that. Gasly's gone up to P3. De Vries P4 four or 5 at the moment, because Leclerc has just gone quickest. Verstappen out there now. What's he going to do with it? Hopefully, he'll bin it and be out in Q2. That would be amazing for us. Verstappen coming around now, and he goes 6th, to be fair, so he's going to need to go again. Or well, he might. He's not actually going to get the time here. Now, Kevin Magnussen, is he? Im he's improving. Uh, but doesn't go above Max. I think Max is going to get away with it because most of the people that are, are still out there have, have finished. Well, there you go. Max Verstappen only 8th in the end. Nick De Vries uh, up in P5, but going out in Q2. Uh, George Russell, Daniel Ricciardo, Lance Stroll, Carlos Sainz and Valtteri Bottas in the McLaren. Okay, into Q3 we go then. Again, really important that we get a nice early time in there. Two, one, should be great. And then we'll go back out there right at the end of the session looking to... get our big time and it's going to be Ocon oh I, th well, I thought it was it was actually Norris that takes Paul at the moment a 126.1 Ocon 126.2 and now do we I think we do use soft tyres because I don't think we'll be using them too much tomorrow so we'll now wait and we are currently 1 and 2 Leclerc and Verstappen couldn't quite match us. So now it's all going to be about whether we can improve here. Oh, are they actually going to make it here? I don't think Norris is going to make it. No, they're, they're going too slow here. Yeah? What are they doing? Okay, let's call them in. They're not going to make it. They're, they're just going way too slow. I think it was because they were letting a lot of traffic through. Um, and it looks like Max Verstappen isn't going to make it either. So Verstappen does not make it. We call our cars in. So lots of teams made a misjudgment there including us Charles Leclerc is the only one that can really do anything here he's gone purple in the first sector he comes through the middle sector he's gone purple here I think Charles Leclerc is going to spoil our day he's coming round Stoll he needs to find quarter of a second he's gone purple in sector one and in sector two and here he comes round the final corner Charles Leclerc up to the line what's it gonna be it's a 26 0 which is pole position for charles leclerc he spoils the day of lando norris at his home grand prix but uh, at least we're second and third and max verstappen starts fourth the time has almost come for our drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel race day has arrived silverstone is certainly a circuit rich in formula one history from Giuseppe Farina winning the first championship race held here in 1950, right through to Lewis Hamilton's 2008 masterclass on racing in the rain. Karun, as far as Williams are concerned, what's the mood in the garage been like this weekend? It all feels very positive down in the garage. Everything seems in control and morale looks to be very high. The team are gelling well together. This is sure to be quite the spectacle then, and we've got a front row seat for today's race. Here at Silverstone. Yeah, right. 
Well, I think I think the two stop is going to be the way to go. One stop looks decent as well. Um, I mean, how many sets of tires do we have? I don't think we have two hard sets, do we now? Hmm. Yeah, so there's apparently a quicker way to do it. So I might risk that with Norris. Because he's out in front, so he'll be able to push a little bit harder. And Ocon. Yeah, I think that I think that looks good. We'll stick with that for Esteban. And we'll see who ends up winning this race. Hopefully it's going to be one of our drivers. Maybe it'll be Charles Leclerc. I'm almost expecting Red Bull to go for the one-stop strategy with at least one of their drivers. And that'll make it interesting. So here we go. The drivers composing themselves on the grid ahead of 52 laps around Silverstone. Now I wonder, will things be going Lando Norris's way in this race? A second place start for them today. They'll be aiming for a podium, but could they even sneak the win? Here we go. It's time to go racing. Anticipation is high, and the drivers are ready for this. The British Grand Prix. And it's lights out. Lights out, away, and away we, go. we go. And we're going to tell Norris to be highly aggressive going into turn one. But it's actually Ocon who flies round the outside, or tried to at least. And, well, we're going to put them both on high aggression. Okay. Can Norris make the move on Charles Leclerc? It looks like Ocon's going to be the man. And generally, Ocon has looked fairly quick this weekend. And in race trim, it usually turns out Norris is quicker. But they're side by side going into all turn one, Cops Corner. But um, yeah, maybe Ocon is the one to push Charles Leclerc today. He's going to be on virtually the same strategy. I thought Norris would be able to, to push hard. And that's why I put him on the strategy I did, because he was ahead of Ocon on track. But it's not quite transpired that way. So let's zoom it forward. It looks like the, the front two are building a little gap to those behind. And now it will be... Reducing the pace time, and Charles is starting to push on now. Norris now needs to get past Max Verstappen, get past his teammate really, and push on. That's the plan, so... Let's hope that Esteban Ocon is able to hold his tyres and yeah, what we don't need here is a Max Verstappen special where he gets past Ocon and then starts dominating the race. Oh, Verstappen trying it down the inside of Ocon there, good defence from the Frenchman. And well, Norris following quite nicely here. It'll be intriguing to see what strategy people go for. Of course, uh, lots of the field there are mediums. There's a few on soft, so 
including the leader and second place currently Esteban Ocon. Mm, this could be a chance for Norris with a bit of ERS and this could be a chance going into Stoll. He's having a little look around the outside of Max Verstappen, is he? No, not quite this time. But he's pushing him hard. As uh, Esteban Ocon starting to get into this Grand Prix. We'll allow Ocon to expend his energy a little bit. It's important we keep life in those tyres for Astaban. Somehow Max has stayed within one second. I don't really know how he managed that. Not like more than a second for most of the, the lap up to that point. Well, Ocon's actually starting to close in on Charlie Leclerc a little bit here. Which is what we like to see. And Norris obviously now in DRS range of Max Verstappen, who isn't in re DRS range of, of Ocon. So this is where we can make the move. And we're starting to get right behind Max Verstappen. Love to be able to do that quickly, but Max Verstappen is just a, an immovable object almost. But Leclerc now only 0.8 seconds ahead of Ocon, so. We're coming back into it here. Top four, different strategies. We've split our strategies. Both teams have done that, which I think shows how close this battle is. And, uh, well, Norris goes down the inside of Max Verstappen. Oh, Verstappen, what's happened? I think he's crashed into our uh, Norris here. You okay? What has happened? Is he okay? Now, this was the seventh corner. So that was Verstappen was coming around the outside. Oh, he went over the, the curb and then, Not yeah, straight into Norris. That, I think I wouldn't be Norris is okay. But Max Verstappen definitely will be getting the penalty there, you would imagine. All right. What's, uh, yeah, suspension has found a little bit of trouble. But I think, other than that, he's okay. Maybe a little bit of tyre wear. Let's just have a little look at the tyres here. Be rear right is 66%, so we'll just have to nurse that a little bit. But that allows Norris to focus on his own race now. And, uh, well, incident involving Norris and uh, Verstappen. No penalties given. Okay, seen as a racing incident because, uh, of course, it's with the, the golden boy, Max Verstappen. So I'm not too surprised about that. Meanwhile, Ocon doing a good job here, holding the fort behind um, the clerk. Now, what we might tell him to do is just avoid high-risk curbs. Try and look after your tyres for a couple of laps or so. And see if you can prolong this stint. Now, Vers Verstappen is dropping well behind this group now. Just looking at the tyres, you know, if Ocon can look after them. I'm thinking now do we just reduce Norris's pace a little bit? Because he's still going to 
increase the gap to max. just top up his ERS as well over the next lap or so I think this is the moment. Yeah, so now Ocon is going to push hard for the next lap or so and then come into the pits. Box this lap, box this lap. And Norris can start pushing again. Alright. And there goes Esteban Ocon into the pits. Obviously a very long pit lane and well there you go, it's quite a funny one that he's uh, got the fastest lap there as well. Ah, front right, struggling, lost a couple of seconds and we did that a lot in Austria as well. And that's important because it's just got us out into a, a little area where he doesn't want to be. Keep looking after these tyres. But hopefully you'll be able to, to push hard down. Norris a couple of laps away from coming into the pits. coming in this lap and putting on some hard tyres. Interestingly, this is where Norris is really starting to close in on Charles Leclerc. Is Leclerc one stopping? That's a big question. Oh, he's coming in now. And Norris following him in. So Max Verstappen continues on. So Leclerc in and out. What sort of pit time can the crew put in here? It's a good pit stop. What's going on? What was the problem there? Well, that's really frustrating. So we've lost a good amount of time there on our... So slow now. On our pit strategy, which is uh, annoying. But now here comes Ocon trying to make moves on Russell here. Yeah, DRS open and easily through. That's Pierre Gasly into the pits now. Yeah, 
Yeah, Norris should be able to get past uh, Mick Schumacher fairly easily and does do that. Right, maybe now time to zoom forward a little bit with a bit of ERS. Some yellow flags. That's one of the McLarens, I think, has had a spin. Here, we've got a yellow flag. It's Daniel Ricciardo, unfortunately. No, no look there, but can he go down the inside? Not quite yet. But now he's going to have the inside of turn one. Brilliant move from Esteban Ocon. He's up to second position. He's well ahead of Charles Leclerc now. And he's well ahead of Max Verstappen, who's of course come into the pits. How far ahead of Verstappen is he? 21 seconds. He's almost a pit stop ahead, which is bonkers. Can he get... Kevin Magnussen before Magnussen's too much of a, a hassle. Yep, goes down the inside. Lovely move. We'll have the grip on the outside. And there goes Esteban Ocon into the lead of the British Grand Prix. Well, how's Norris doing? He's about five seconds behind Charles Leclerc. But should be able to push a bit harder with those tyres. As Valtteri Bottas puts in faster slap off this Grand Prix. Verstappen now starting to put in some good laps. A yellow flag now. What tyres is uh, Verstappen on? He's on soft, so yeah, different strategies out there. Clerk starting to catch Esteban. Yeah, I think Norris can now attack a little bit on those hard tyres. Try and bring the gap down a little bit. Clerk may well pass Ocon. This is good from Norris. To Vries lock up there. Yeah, Verstappen's tyres are gonna start to cripple soon. Yeah, Ocon's Ocon's good. Ocon's in a good place. Yeah, Max's tyres are going to drop off like a stone soon. push Ock on as hard as possible this lap. Norris will be coming in soon as well. And here comes Esteban Ock on into the pits. Hoping for a, a much cleaner pit stop this time. At their practice. Mm, a little bit slow on the rear. It's not quite as bad but still not great so we need to tighten up on the pit stops that's something we'll have to think about 
because it is going to cost us. And there goes Norris round the outside of Charles Leclerc. And there we go, he is through very nicely. Should be able to stay ahead as well. As Gasly has put in fastest lap. How's Ocon doing these days? Yeah, good personal best first sector. Brand new set of soft tyres going on to Norris's car at the end of this lap. Do we delay it a lap? Maybe not. We're going to delay it a lap if we can. Yep. Yeah. Well, I sort of knew Leclerc would come in and that's going to be a big opportunity for him now. But it allows us to have that extra lap of soft tyres. Ocon's come out about four seconds ahead of Leclerc. Which is uh, one of the main things. Verstappen's tyres are awful. And Norris then, coming into the pit lane, we need a quick pit stop from the boys here. Verstappen's in as well. So this is the moment. Come on. Come on. Nope slow but we are out ahead of Verstappen which I think was the main thing there he's come out behind um, Leclerc but he is going to be able to attack much better than we thought as Nick De Vries puts in faster slap now Leclerc is bearing down on Ocon Verstappen and Norris are going to be on him fairly soon as well. So Ocon's in trouble here. And Leclerc puts in faster slap now. I think Leclerc must be using ERS because... Norris is even struggling to catch up to him. Oh, uh, that's why Ocon's struggling so much. That's my bad. It's been rinsed of energy. How annoying. But Max Verstappen starting to have a look at Char uh, Lando here. I think Lando's just about going to survive, but this is not what we needed. DRS makes it straight back past. And 10 laps to go here. Let's see what happens. I think Norris and Verstappen are going to keep exchanging places. Norris 
struggling here to catch up. Luckily, Ocon is uh, holding both Red Bulls up here. Mm, what's going to be... Oh, he's passed uh, Max Verstappen. He did it when the traffic was there. They're still side by side. And now possibly a chance on Charlie Leclerc here. Going to use what little ERS we have left. And there we go. He is through. Goes down the inside. And Lando Norris now leads this Grand Prix. I'm going to just go standard here. Save some tyres. Maybe stay behind our teammate. And that might allow us to stay ahead of the two Red Bulls and get a 1-2 here. Let's see. This might work out. Yeah, that's okay. We don't want him um, to get ahead of Ocon too often. We've got uh, four laps to go after this one. I think I maybe need to put him on medium on the overtakes. But I think this is how we can maximise our result here. Stop getting ahead of him. Oh no. I think it's okay. Just about staying in front of the... They just seem to have changed something about the don't fight teammate thing. Now really, what Norris should be doing is that. Just staying glued to the gearbox I think last lap you know it's it's every man for himself but we need to try and maximize this result we've got a chance of a 1-2 here yeah this is good this is what we need we're staying in front of Max Verstappen for now and and even if Max Verstappen gets past Ocon I don't think um, I don't think Leclerc will be three laps to go it's soon to be two laps to go and Max Verstappen is still searching for a way past okay Oh, this is not what we needed. He's going to stop, isn't he? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's where it could have went wrong. Oh, this is annoying. Right. That's exactly the opposite of what we needed. But at least he's going to get back past Max for stepping. Oh, what's... Whoa! What happened there? Right. Oh, this is really annoying. Because I think Norris isn't going to win this race now. Which is what I would have allowed to happen. Come on. Yeah, it's gonna it's not even gonna be a one-two. Oh a disaster here. 
Ocon oh, no. wins the Grand Prix. Yeah. Verstappen finishes oh, second. Thank you. Oh, how annoying. Checkered flag. And it's Ocon. Ocon first over the line today. Well, I, f I mean, I suppose in a way we've still maximised the result for, for the team because surely, surely Charles Leclerc would have got Ocon under normal circumstances, but... Yeah, frustrating that the traffic came into play, but of course the traffic came into play passing Verstappen before. Um, but Ocon wins it, and Norris in third. It's uh, it's an interesting season, so isn't it? Drive today from Good result Ocon. for the team, though. An inspired strategy from the team there. What a well-deserved win that was. Oh, that's a wonderful scene. The team getting their first chance to congratulate their driver on a job well done. There's the Frenchman, Esteban Ocon, taking to the podium. And another added to his career tally. It gets even better for the team with both drivers scoring a podium finish this weekend. Well, we might be in Britain, but our podium finishers won't be celebrating with a cup of tea tonight. They'll be staying true to Formula One tradition. Now, Carew, no doubt there'll be a lot for the teams to process after that race. But how do you think the Williams team are feeling? I doubt they could be much happier. A win and a podium place. What a great way to round out the weekend. And here in Silverstone, the weekend now draws to a close. Next round, we're moving on to an exhilarating circuit. Formula One will be taking to the Hungaro ring for the Hungarian Grand Prix. OK, right, uh, Esteban Ocon wins and Lando Norris finishes in third in the end, meaning in the championship. Uh, now just 21 points between them. Um, Leclerc is a further, what's that, 35 points behind Charles, uh, behind Esteban and Max Verstappen starting to creep up uh, back into it, but he's currently 65 behind championship leader Lando Norris. Good result in the constructors, it means we're now 100 points ahead of Red Bull. Uh, all of our pit stops had mistakes in today. Uh, various parts of the car don't, just really don't understand it. I mean, Norris's the tyres were, were perfect. It was raising the car that was the problem. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't get it particularly. But uh, there you go, four million in profit made this Grand Prix, which is all good. Okay then, uh, hungry next time out then. So if you've enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.